Hey guys, in this video I will talk about bullwhip effect in supply chain. So basically bullwhip effect is, is the demand distortion or demand amplification as you move upstream in the supply chain. Let I will explain more in my coming slides. So what exactly is bullwhip? It's very simple. Bull whip is this. It's a whip used to control So what is exactly is bull whip effect? See this figure. Here is the customer. He is having the bull whip. The bull whip he is holding and he is giving the demand signal. This demand signal can be a demand increase or demand drop or whatever. So this is the end consumer like you or me. Now what happens is that this demand signal is taken by the retailer and is passed to a local warehouse then some distortion happens for example the demand is 100 but the retailer would like to keep some buffer with him and he'll order some more from the warehouse maybe he'll order 120 similarly this local warehouse will give some demand signal to the distribution center Again, there will be a distortion because he would like to keep some buffer at his end or he may have some in his own calculation and he'll calculate some quantity will give to distribution center and distribution center. It will go to factory from factory to the tier one supplier from supplier to his tier one suppliers. So we see that demand signal is like this from the customer, but it keeps on distorting as we move upstream the supply chain so you have customer may have ordered 100 but as it move the signal moves from one supply chain partner to other supply chain partner it keeps on amplifying and this is how we see a less demand at the customer a less demand signal is at customer but a very high signal at tier one supplier just imagine you are whipping a bull whip a whip so this is it would look like and that's why it's called a bull whip effect it's very common phenomena in supply chain and happens mostly in fmcg or where the distribution channel is very big you have many players in the distribution channel Typically, this problem comes there. So, why exactly bullwhip effect happens? Let's see. This is a simple example. So, in bullwhip effect, what exactly is happening? There is some change in demand from the customer. This demand signal goes to the warehouse, the replenishment warehouse which replenish to customer and again there is some spike in the demand then to distribution center and then to plant supplier so what are the causes of bullwhip effect the first cause price discounts causing short-term increase in sales which give false signals of long-term demand increase So what exactly is this? For example, there is a promotion scheme started by the company, by the marketing team. So there will be a short term increase in the sales. But this short term increase in the sales may trigger a high demand amplification upstream the supply chain. How we can countermeasure it? 
or how we can control it every day low price that means this promotional scheme should not happen too often or else it will distort or it will give a false signal across the supply chain the best strategy is to have a every day low price second is order batching is placing orders to minimize processing and transportation cost now what does that mean order batching it can be done by say retailer the retailer has a demand of 10 piece every day but what he'll do is to save the ordering cost and to avoid the transactional cost he may order one or two weeks of items together in such a case suddenly he'll be placing a big orders to the distribution center and distribution center will think that okay the same kind of orders may come next week also so again the dist uh, demand distortion starts to happen what is the countermeasure we can have frequency frequent orders of small sizes that is everyday customer places only small small orders based on the realistic demand the next is shortage gaming is placing extra orders when there is gap between demand versus supply and this is very interesting for example your product is good and uh, there is a short term gap between demand versus supply the demand is very high but supply is very less in that case what happens that in the distribution channel either retailer or distributor they start to place more orders to secure more materials because they anticipate the shortages in the future so they place more orders to secure the future volumes again this gives a false signal to the manufacturer about the demand manufacturers start thinking that there is more demand in the market but actually there is no more demand demand is same but distributor is placing extra orders to secure future supplies so how it can be controlled allocate based on the past history for example allocate volumes to sales region based on history for example if any sales region ask you uh, for uh, more orders suddenly more orders then you should you should check the historical trend if historically say they have been buying say 100k and suddenly they start uh, asking for 200k you should question okay why statistically they have been uh, doing 100k but now suddenly what's the reason of 200k the last is forecast inaccuracy is caused by improper visibility of demand across supply chain so basically these forecast accuracy in the supply chain it's happening because improper visibility of demand across supply chain that is no information sharing or very less information sharing information is like backbone of supply chain from manufacturer to retailer they need to have a very very strong on time and correct information sharing system if it does not have then it becomes very difficult to plan everyone runs behind his own objective they can't work for a common goal or common aim so information sharing is one of the most important uh, aspect to control these demand fluctuations so in summary the Woolwick effect is basically demand distortion and that demand distortion is mostly happened due to the incorrect or insufficient demand sharing all these problems can be solved if we make the supply chain more transparent we work we need to work more on the technology so that the supply chain partners can see the data on time they can see their order status they can see the consumption in the real time basis this can hugely uh, impact the or i would say can hugely impact to increase the efficiency of the supply chain so 
by this you can control the bullpip effect just to give you an example when the recession came during 2008-2009 so there was a temporarily uh, demand drop in the market for most of the electronics consumer durable items so what happened the demand drop was temporary but the manufacturers mostly in china south of china they started to think that the demand this is a long term demand drop and as a result most of the factories were shut down in south of china but after 6 to 7 months when the inventory of the most of the the pipeline inventory in the supply chain dried up it was consumed then suddenly there was a increase in the demand but since the factories were shut down in china opposite thing happened that means there was demand but there were no supplies this happened typically in the electronic industry so yes bullwhip effect can cause havoc in the business it can either create a shortage for a product because it's a signal distort demand signal distortion either it can create shortages of the product for uh, when that there is a temporary slow down or it can increase hugely increase the excess in the supply chain supply chain liability can increase when there is a temporary increase in the demand and the one solution for this is to share the demand efficiently and transparently across the supply chain uh, that's all about bullwhip effect i hope you like the session thank you for watching